We're about to solve this 2 cos 3x equals 1, and we're only looking for solutions in the interval 0 to pi. Now this interval describes x values, and if you look closely, our input to the cosine function is 3x. All right, that'll come into play a little bit later. So let's just go ahead and rewrite it. Now it's cosine of 3x, so we can go ahead and parenthesize that. Divide by 2. All right, so now we're ready to think about the cosine function. Cosine is an x value. That x value is positive 1 half. That's the last stop before you would hit pi over 2. It's also the last stop going the other direction before negative 3 pi over 2. They have the same reference angle. So the first solution we would see would be 60 degrees, or we're in radians, so that would be pi over 3. All right, so we have 3x equals pi over 3. We also have 3x equals negative pi over 3. And of course, we can add 2 pi k. And this is for integer k values. I think we're just going to use negative 1, 0, and 1, but it can go both directions after that. I think once we go past that, uh, x will be outside of that interval. All right, we're going to solve for x now. Divide both of these by 3. So pi over 3 becomes pi over 9 plus 2 thirds pi k. The second, uh, divide this by 3. And we have negative pi over 9 plus 2 thirds pi k. So we're going to let uh, if k equals negative 1. Let's just look at that really quick. This one's already negative, so if k is negative 1, that becomes even more negative. So k equals negative 1 won't, won't work there. If k is negative 1 here, this term will make uh, negative 1 will be minus 2 thirds pi. And add negative 2 thirds pi to pi over 9, you'll have a negative value right there, so k equals negative 1 won't work. So we got k equals 0. And let's just rewrite these. x equals pi over 9 plus 2 pi uh, 3k. x equals negative pi over 9 plus 2 pi over 3k. We have k equals 0 here. This is just pi over 9. The next one is negative pi over 9, which looks bad, but we had 0, so it's negative pi over 9, so it is bad. So k equals 0 gives us one solution. k equals 1 pi over 9 plus 2 pi over 3 times 1. 2 pi over 3 is Let's see, 6 pi over 9, multiply both by 3, so add 1, that's 7 pi over 9, so that still is smaller than pi. The next is negative pi over 9 plus 2 pi over 3 when k is 1. Add that up, and of course this is 6 pi over 9 minus 1 pi over 9 is 5 pi over 9. So there's my 5 pi over 9 my 1 pi over 9 solution, and my 7 pi over 9. All of those are between 0 and pi, so they fit into the interval. There's three of them, and you should be able to tell that if we did k equals 2, our next values here would be even larger, and they would exceed the bound pi. So these will be the three solutions here.